Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selma. If you're new here, the food prices in the world are going higher and higher. So I thought I would do what I eat in a day video with healthy, clear and feed, budget friendly meals. I went to the grocery store yesterday and tried to find more affordable options. So yeah, let's start and make breakfast. We're going to start by mashing half a banana. Then we're going to add a 3 quarter cup of natural unsweetened yogurt. If you also have IBS, be sure to use lactose free yogurt. And then we need 1 tablespoon of peanut butter. Next, we'll add half a cup of gluten free oats and half a teaspoon of cinnamon and 1 quarter cup of almond milk. And then we just stir until combined. Usually it takes several hours for overnight oats to set but this is a super quick recipe and it only takes 5 minutes to set in the fridge and then it's ready. I topped it with the rest of the banana and also drizzled some peanut butter on top. And here's the ready breakfast, so quick and easy. I'm also having a big glass of water already had one class before this. It's cold water, not warm lemon water. I'm not one of those people who just don't like the taste of warm water. But yeah. Also, I need to say that I'm posting this what I eat in day video for healthy meal inspiration, not for comparison. We're all different and need different amounts of food, so always keep that in mind when watching someone's what I eat in day video. After breakfast, I worked on my new recipe ebook and edited an Instagram reel and a TikTok video. But now it's time to make a lunch. We're going to make a vegetable frittata, which is like an omelette but made in the oven. First, we'll cut a zucchini into very thin slices and even smaller pieces and we'll also cut a bell pepper. If you like, you can also cook the vegetables before adding them to the mixture. This is just an easier and quicker way. Then we'll crack 10 eggs into a bowl. Then we'll add salt and pepper to taste and 1 quarter cup of milk. I used almond milk and then we just stir until combined. Then we'll add about half a cup of grated cheese and the vegetables. Then we'll pour the mixture into a greased skillet. Then we'll transfer it to the oven and cook at 180 Celsius degrees 350 in Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes until the center is just set and it has a beautiful golden brown color. You can serve the frittata with some fresh herbs for example. This is such a great recipe for meal prep, it makes about 4 servings and it's super easy to make and it's so delicious. I ate one piece of toast with this and a big glass of water. So yummy! I just did a workout, so now I'm gonna make a post-workout snack. For this smoothie, we'll need one banana, two dates, 3 quarter cup of unsweetened natural yogurt, 1 tablespoon of peanut butter, 1 and a half tablespoons of cacao powder, and handful of ice. Then we just blend until smooth. It's so creamy and yummy. Now it's time to make dinner. My boyfriend came already back from work and now it's around 8 p.m. and I'm gonna make us something to eat. I'm gonna make pasta bolognese. 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 And bolognese. Bolognese. Well, anyways, that's what. So here are all the ingredients we need. So we need spaghetti, green pea spaghetti, and we need minced chicken meat and some crushed tomatoes. These are seasoned with basil and oregano. And then we need salt and pepper. And then I have some uh, rosemary and more oregano. And that's all. 
Did you know you can open a package of spaghetti like this? Cause I had no idea until I saw a video on TikTok. Well anyways, first of all, we're going to cook the spaghetti according to the instructions in the package. Meanwhile, the pasta is cooking, we're going to cook the minced chicken meat. I'm not gonna show you the raw chicken cause not everyone wants to see that. Then I saved some of the pasta's cooking water cause I'm going to add that to the sauce. Then we'll season the minced chicken meat with some salt, pepper, dried rosemary, and oregano. And you can also add some chives if you want. If you don't have IBS, you can of course add some garlic and onion to this sauce. Then we'll add some crushed tomatoes and some of the pasta's cooking water. At this point, I had to turn on the lights because it was getting too dark to shoot the video. Then we'll let the sauce simmer for about 10 minutes. And here's the ready meal. If you wanted to add extra protein to this, you could use chickpea pasta instead of regular pasta. This is one of our go-to meals. We make this almost every week because it's so good. I always crave something sweet after dinner, so of course we're also making a dessert. For this recipe, we only need two sliced peaches, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we just cook them on a nonstick pan on medium heat for about five to 10 minutes until softened. You can serve these with some Greek yogurt or vanilla ice cream. My boyfriend loves ice cream, so of course we had small scoops of vanilla ice cream. Such a perfect combo. We just finished dessert. It was so good, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I hope you find these recipes helpful. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it really supports my channel. See you in the next video.